Hey, Dustin here, Smoking Eagles Rod Shop. Got a quick video for you guys. Now, I'm working on this 2018 Chevy Traverse, and I'm changing the upper and lower lateral arms, lateral bars, whatever you want to call them. One of them's straight, one's kind of crooked, and uh, there's an issue, and I'm going to show you guys how to get it out. I looked on YouTube, I couldn't find anybody to explain this. Why not? That's because it's my job. Here we go. So here's the lateral bar here. This is the top one. And you can see it's got this curve in it. You got a bolt up here, which I've already removed. And then you've got that bolt right up in here. This one here. You take the nut off of there, which I've already done. And then when you go to slide the bolt out, it hits the pocket for the coil spring right there. Let me get you another angle here. You can see that bolt is coming out and it's hitting right there. How do you get that out of there? You can't, right? No, you can. What you've got to do is you've got to get a jack or a support. I know you probably not, don't have a lift like I do, but you could always use a floor jack. You're going to put it right up here on this subframe in the center, and then you've got these big body bolts that go up through your subframe and hold it to the body. There's one there, there's one here, and then you've got two on the other side as well that match. You're going to want to pull the ones loose on the opposite side from the bar you're doing. So as you can see, I've got a gap here in this one, and this one's loose here. There's a gap up here on the back side I can stick my hand in. And you're gonna drop that down and buy yourself a little bit of wiggle room there. Then you're gonna come over here on the side you're working on. You're gonna take that jack, you're gonna put a little bit of pressure on it, and then you're gonna pull these bolts all the way out. You're gonna pull them all the way out, and then as you lower the jack slowly, you want to do the controlled descent. Don't just jump off the cliff or you'll be sorry. Lower that down slowly until you can just buy enough room to get that bolt out between there. Now I'll get this one down and get that so I can get that bolt out of there and then I'll show you guys exactly what I mean. All right guys, so I've let this jack down. As you can see, I've got this body bolt out. We've got that one out. I just put a piece of all thread up through there that I happen to have to kind of help line things up, but I haven't really needed it. I don't think it's a necessity. It just makes me feel good. Right here's the bolt we're trying to get out. I've got this lowered down. There's lots of room here. All I got to do is lift up on this just a little bit to loosen that up. And I can wiggle that out of there. Just enough room to clear. And then we can take this arm out of here, toss the new one in. Once you get your old one off on this end, which is the side that goes right down inside this pocket here, You've got this little sleeve that's pressed in here and you need to press it out this way. Now, to do that, the easiest thing you can do is get a bolt, slide it right through like this. You're gonna put a nut on it. Just like that. Then you can slide it right up against that sleeve. Tap on it with a hammer. Until it's flush on the backside, just like that. And then your new arm will slide right down in there. And when you tighten that bolt back up, it's gonna pull that sleeve in and tighten everything back up. We've got our brand new one here. Takes a little bit of finagling, but get your bolt in here, get her lined up. Slide it right in like that. Now I can put my nut on this side, but first thing I'm gonna do is crank this back up into place. And that bolt's going right back up in there where it's supposed to be until our body bolts are long enough to reach. And then we can start tightening them back up. like that all right guys so we got that top lateral bar in there and I also changed the bottom one now if you've never changed these before you want to mark it with a little piece of I use a paint marker and I don't know if you can see that very good let me get this down here you can see how I marked that on both sides and then I just put it back to exactly where it was but obviously we had all four bolts out of this subframe on both sides and had it drop down. So this thing is not gonna be right. You're gonna have to go get an alignment. But 
saved a bunch of labor at uh, the big box store or wherever you uh, get your alignments done. So that's a win in everybody's book. Um, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. I know it wasn't very long, but I gave you all the important information that you need. Hopefully if you plan on tackling this, you know how to like, I don't know, take the tire off and stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna post some other videos around my melon here of stuff we're doing around the shop. Go check that stuff out. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I'm always doing crazy stuff. There's Justin. There's my dad. Say what's up, guys. What's up? Tell them like, share, subscribe. Like, yeah, share, like, subscribe. share, subscribe. Share. There's my sister over there. This is her busted jalopy that I had to fix. So anyway, guys, until next time, keep on wrenching. Peace.